Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be discussing the Battlefield 2042 beta that just went up a couple days ago, specifically the problems that I see with this game going forward. This will not be a review as there are plenty of reviews out there by much more famous YouTubers such as Level Cap, Exclusive Ace, Jack Frags, and others. While I have a huge amount of respect and appreciation for their content, I'm going to be going against their general consensus of this game and talk about the problems I've been having with this beta. I'm a nobody, and I know my audience will be limited at best, but I wanted to put this out there so in case a someone somewhere sees this and some positive change can come from it, I'd be more than happy. I'm also not going to be going too much in depth into the bugs because after all, this is a beta. Visual glitches and UI changes, these can all be changed as the game progresses. However, the core design principles that are flawed I am very concerned with, and I'll be discussing those throughout this video. I wanted to start by saying that I want so much for this game to succeed. I upgraded my PC to a 3090 with way too much money so that I can have the best experience possible with this game. This is going to be the highlight of 2021 for me and my friends. We wanted the feeling of Battlefield back across the PC and console generations. But sadly, this beta isn't looking too great at this time. In the background, I have some clips I will be playing from just a match in the beta. I assure everyone that I have played the beta for at least 8 hours at this point, and I had plenty of games similar to this one. I just captured this footage once I realized that I needed to make a video discussing some of the key problems with the underlying principles of this game. The first thing I wanted to discuss, and it really sums up my thoughts on many aspects of this game, is the question, what was the point? Specifically, I am wanting to ask this about the 128 player craze that seems to be the driving force behind this game. Let's start off with the map. This map is apparently one of the medium sized maps in this game, and this map is absolutely insane in scale. You may have seen a shot in the beginning of the sheer amount of space you can see when flying in, and it looks cool as heck, but the coolness only lasts a few seconds. This map is way too big for this amount of players. Engagement distances are extremely long and far and few between many times. There will be plenty of walking, especially since the vehicle call-in system seems to be glitched at this time. And many times, the map simply doesn't have a single bit of flow to it. It just seems like two or three big maps next to each other, and a gimmick is that you know that someone on the other side of the map 900 meters away is fighting. It does absolutely nothing for the player to have 128 other players in this match. I never once found myself feeling like, wow, so many people for me to fight. This is incredible in scale and really elevates my gaming experience. That never happened. Instead, I would fight about 5 to 10 people in a sector, die, and come back to keep fighting that 5 to 10 people in that sector. It felt exactly the same, if not smaller, than the combat that I've had in prior Battlefield games. So my biggest question is, what was the point of this? There are some detrimental effects to having so many players as well. With the inclusion of consoles and both generations, graphical compromises must have been made. This game doesn't look bad by any stretch of the word. It looks decent, but after God knows how many years in development and a next generation marketing promise, it certainly doesn't look next generation to me. The thing is, it's technically impressive as hell, but what does that do for me? Knowing that there's a group of people on the other side of the map doing something doesn't actually elevate my experience at all. Another problem is that there's almost no micro-destruction in this game. There's a giant tornado and other levolution type moments for sure, but I was under the impression that this game would have destruction on an unprecedented scale compared to prior Battlefield games. This game probably has way less destruction than the last two games in my opinion. And the reason for this, I can only imagine, is to make the game suitable for hardware and still cater to this concept of 128 players. Would it not have been better for them just to stick to the 64 player medium sized maps that had proven to be effective, improve visual fidelity, performance, and destruction for a smaller player size to really make the experience more intense per match? In my opinion, it is an absolute shame what has happened with this map presentation knowing that it could have been so much more if they had just stuck with something they knew already worked. The second thing I want to talk about, and is already a hotly debated topic, are the specialist. Ah, the specialist. The blatant attempt to make this a character-based shooter in order for future monetization opportunities. And you know, this is a company designed to make money. That's not something I've ever been mad about. Call of Duty has been wildly successful over the course of its lifetime because of this new system of characters, and it really works for them. But Battlefield has always been about this squad-based, 
class-based, team-based dynamic that really does not lend itself to these unrestricted specialists. I know DICE is trying to dip into the Call of Duty crowd, and I think that is great, but doing so by changing the identity of Battlefield is not the way I wanted it to happen. This game, it's just missing the feeling of Battlefield for me. I know it's just a beta, and I know nothing is completely unlocked, but the team play elements of this game are almost completely gone. In my full two days of playing this game, I have been revived once, which I was so surprised by I actually got a clip of it, and I found maybe two ammo bags. The concept of this group of people overcoming something greater using their specific role is completely gone. The specialists create a let me focus on myself first mentality that is further exasperated by the unrestricted class setup that this game has. Never have I felt more alone in a Battlefield game than this one, which is a real shame. The gunplay in this game is actually really fun. Recoil feels on point, and while admittedly a little lighter, it overall felt really good. But the team play elements were completely and utterly gone from my time here. There were so many Webster McKay's zipping around everywhere that I couldn't tell who or what I was supposed to go and help. The flow of combat, of teamwork, was just fundamentally gone in this beta experience, and it was just really a limited amount of intense action that had no real effect on the whole game at hand, almost like a team deathmatch played in different sectors of this map, and that's, that's all that it was. Speaking of Webster McKay, I wanted to suggest a balance idea for this guy. Mobility, which I will go into more in depth in a moment, is a huge part of this game, but this guy goes like beyond that. Ziplining anywhere creates this sense of chaos that, perhaps in the short term, feels pretty good, but in the long term will absolutely destroy any type of defensive flow that this game may have had. I feel like the best option for this character would be for his ability to be able to create a single zip line on the sides of buildings that he and his teammate wish to elevate to. This would make him more team focused and also balance him in the sense that he would need to pick up his gadget to use it further, slowing him down but still providing a crucial alternate flank opportunity for himself and his squad. And speaking of balance, let's talk about health regeneration. This game has crazy fast health regeneration. A lot of people are actually thrilled about this, but I really think this is a big mistake for a game like this. Imagine that I'm firing at someone from 50 to 100 meters away. I'm tap firing because I'm conserving ammo while closing distance. The thing is, with health regeneration, this engagement doesn't actually matter. Even if the enemy is not a medic, all they have to do is get to cover for maybe 3 seconds, and then that engagement we add was effectively null and void. Health for players needs to be a limited resource, a resource that the medic class could supply to other players. If each player spawned with like two healing syringes, then at least they would have to seek out medical aid for further heals. This would create a sense of danger to firefights as well, that this game severely lacks. The limitations of classes is what made Battlefield so unique. You needed help from others, and they needed it from you, and thus, teamwork was formed. And speaking of seeking out a medic, how the heck do you even do that in this game? With the introduction of specialists, there's no semblance of learning who has what to seek out help. I know there'll be further customizations at launch, but if anything, that would make things worse. Now I have every color under the rainbow to look for on a character as I'm running around looking for someone to heal me. Once again, this goes into that feeling of being alone on this battlefield. The final point I wanted to talk about in this game was DICE's bold strategy of making every vehicle in this game an aerial vehicle. Actually scratch that, everything in this game has some kind of aerial component to this. And I say this in the sense that nothing in this game feels connected to the ground. Literally, we have characters running at what seems like 40 miles an hour, jeeps and tanks going nearly the same speed, tanks will hit a hill and start to jump into orbit, Everything feels way too fast and has no weight. And I know this is to cater to this giant, medium-sized map that they talked about, and it feels awful. Everything left and right is zipping here, parachuting there, zooming in and out. It feels terrible. The vehicles don't feel like vehicles at all, but just like fast gun turrets that zoom from one side of the map to the other, blasting away faster than anyone can see. There's no sense of weight, no sense of balance, no sense of anything other than speed in this game. And if that's what the game wants, it does it well. But 
Battlefield to me has always been this slightly slower shooter where you can do amazing things in it, not because you're the Flash and you just Apex Legends your way to victory, but because you have a group of friends who can position themselves in a fashion and created something extraordinary. This beta did not have that. And with the fast movements, there are animations that feel just so awfully basic. The animations aren't bad, they're just too fast. The days of ADAD side strafing are back and better than ever, and I can only imagine it'll get worse once people have mastered the cheese strategies. The speed makes everything feel very choppy. And with that, I will say that this beta, it really worries me about this game. I pray to DICE that they do something about this identity crisis that they seem to be having. There has to be a way to make it so that this game could cater to a new crowd, but also keep the core Battlefield principles alive. And perhaps at the end of the day, that's why we have Battlefield Portal. It's like they knew that there was going to be such a big departure from Battlefield that they just decided to not even try and give us our old Battlefields instead. If that's the case, I'd be really sad. The progression system of this game would be null and void because I just wouldn't want to play it. I just wanted a Battlefield experience on Next Generation, and unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be the path to take for it. I hope everyone who watched this video can understand that I love Battlefield. I want it so much to succeed, but I also want it to be Battlefield. Here's hoping what we get at release can fix some of these problems, and as a community, we can have an amazing shooter that we play for the next few years. Until next time, everyone.